Hi everyone, this is Megan from Coffee and Wizards with another video blog book review. Today I'm going to be talking about Fever by Lauren DiStefano. It is the second book in the Chemical Garden series, the first book being Wither, and let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is how awesome the cover is. You don't even realize how awesome the cover is until about a third into the book and you start to understand like how detailed and awesome the book cover is. Just everything that is happening on this cover actually relates to the book itself and I find that's very rare in a lot of book covers. A lot of times we get the book covers that they're just trying to draw readers in and it doesn't necessarily reflect what is actually inside the book itself, but this really does a good job of it. The dress, the pose, the model's face, the the carousel, like the card she's holding, everything in here relates to what's in the book and I really really love that about the Wither cover and the Fever cover. Unfortunately, what's inside the book isn't necessarily as awesome as the cover itself. I found that this book was unnecessarily long and that there was just a lot of stuff that I I didn't see the point of it happening. Maybe it's because I really didn't connect with the characters that well. The first book I found that I didn't really like two of the main characters, who are the, still the main characters <laughs> in Fever, Line and Gabriel. I, I don't really like either of them. I found that Rhine sort of redeemed herself a bit in my eyes in this book. She was a lot tougher. I really couldn't get rid of the feelings that I had for Rhine in the first book. I felt very uninterested in Rhine and Gabriel's journey, which is not what you want to feel for the main characters. My interest kind of peaked a little bit more near the end of the book, but it, it wasn't enough to recover my feelings for the book. If this had been the first book in the series, then maybe I would have been a bit more interested. If you haven't read Wither, the first book in the Chemical Garden series, I'm not sure if I would say, like, go ahead and get started on this series. It's a bad series. There are definitely worse dystopian novels out there, but it's not something that I feel the need to shove on every person that I meet on the street. If you're looking for a really well-written dystopian novel that is similar in concept to the Chemical Garden series, I would actually recommend The Handmaiden's Tale by Margaret Atwood. It is more of an adult novel than a young adult novel, but it is extremely well written. It touches on a lot of the themes that you'll find in the Chemical Garden series, but it's just a better all around novel, especially if you're on the older end of the young adult reading spectrum or more mature reader in general. So thank you for listening and hopefully I will be back with more video blog book reviews later. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to hear more from me about the books that I'm reading. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at MegTow. And you can also check out my other written book reviews on my blog, Coffee and Wizards. Thank you again for listening, and until next time, bye!